Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today what we got to do is we're going to be working on the dirt bike, getting the sand paddle on the bike. Um, so we're going to start with that. Um, I'm going to the sand dunes. It's coming up weekend, um, sand lake. So you'll see footage of that in the next video. So we're going to get right into it, get the sand paddle on, move a couple bikes around. All right, first order of business, what I got to do is get a cover on that filter right there. So I lost this bolt on the other side. I find this right here. Bought some new drills too, um, impacting a regular drill. Um, little life update. Take the seat off. Okay, it seats off. Fresh filter. I just kind of, I didn't really plan on going to the dunes anytime soon, so I never put this on. It's like a cover that goes for quads. You don't have to do this, but I do this just so sand, if it were to get in somehow, I wouldn't regret not putting this thing on. Um, it's pretty easy too. It'll take 10 minutes of your day. Just take this thing off, put this filter on. Um, just freshen it up. Putting a little more on. So, to really make sure no sand gets in there. And then pretty much, so I already poked a hole from last time I went to the dunes, but pretty much you just, you just slip her in just like this. I'm not sure if the hole's going to line up perfectly, but oh yeah, it does. It's right there. And what you're going to want to do is just put this thing back on. This is the worst. This is my worst favorite bolt to put on my entire life. It's just super hard to do. Got the bolt in. Nice and snug. Okay, caps on. Okay. We got that on. So now, okay, we got that on. So that's going to prevent sand from getting in the air filter. Now, what we got to do is put the seat back on and then find a bolt that'll fit this. Um, it's a bolt that goes into the subframe, through the subframe to the seat. This bad boy. I should have it on in. So we got two, two new ones right here. Just gonna put these in nice fast. Uh, as, as if you can see, this bolt right here is not in all the way, and this one. This bolt is not in all the way, and this one. And if you can tell, go like this. The whole thing shifts up and down. So, I gotta fix that. Now that I have an impact drill, I'm just gonna take this thing and impact it. So, let's see. So it's not stripping, it's just, it's just not lining up. Guessing for 10. Um, and yes. 
Thanks to the impact drill. So normally you never want to do that early on aluminum. So we'll just snap the threads right out of there. But uh, these were fine. So got the new filter greased up, got the uh, cover on, got those bolts tightened up. Now what we got to do, take this tire off and then put sand paddle on. Got to find a way to remount my flag mount. I don't know where it went, but um, I was going down a hill and it was it was zip tied right here, straight up like this. And zip ties came out and then it went this way when I was turning, caught the tire, went in here and just snapped the, snapped it. Right now we gotta get this tire off. Snap on hammer. Damn, I put that on tight. I had my toolbox in my bed, and it was right under the bike, and I didn't think about it, but. The bike bounced right on top of the toolbox and bent it and spilled all my tools. Pittsburgh, not snap on. I'm also going to grease this um, axle. Don't get that. <laughs> So you know it needs greased. Look how loose that is again. Jeez. I think I locked, yeah, I locked tight at this one because I rode on it and it's fine. Um, that's something you kind of got to watch out for. Always gotta make sure you lock that bolt up. Because you know if you don't. And these are brand new brake pads too. If you don't lock tight stuff up, it just gets loose and it could cause a huge problem down the road. All right, so we're gonna take a little break. Um, I'm gonna go eat some lunch, and then when I get back, we'll pick up from right here, just like. All right, guys, we're back from lunch. So, what we're gonna have to do, I talked about greasing this, uh, <laughs> this axle right here. So, you can wipe off this. Like that. Get your grease. Grease, this is multi purpose, waterproof. Um, grease, pretty much for anything, hubs, all that crap. It's really. Okay. What you can do. You can pretty much just kind of put it through the hole if you want to, but what I like to do is I take this, I just kind of spin her. Just like this. Too much on this might have been a little much but um doesn't hurt too much grease is fine 
And what I like to do at the very end is run this thing down it. As you can see, it gets a ton on the edge here. And just kind of wipe it off. That'll make sure it's it's got the, kind of the right even coat on it. Um, okay, now this is ready to go on. I'm going with a kind of a big group. We got two people or three people side by sides, three people with quads, um, two other dirt bikes. One's got a big wheel kit on it. Um, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Okay. Put the grease on the axle. Now what we're gonna get? We've got some high. We got some chain guard. Um, put that on just like that. Move up this chain. Whoops. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Don't need this. Just okay. So, put the chain loop on, new tire on. Actually, we got to drain the oil. So, I gotta get this thing down. Okay, just like that. There's one more. Guys, these drills make life so much easier. So, if you guys can see, we get that bolt off and that'll drain the oil. Oh God. Okay. It's actually pretty clear. So whoever made these designs, this big of a hole is kind of dumb. As you can see, it kind of just goes everywhere. So, Lefty Lucy. So it kind of flows out a little better. It's probably close to being done. So, good thing I had that thing on. Okay. Oh. Tilt the bike up, he comes out. Give her a little shake. Make sure you kind of get everything, you know? Oh, see that? Look at all that. Wow. Nice. See if you guys can see this. Hmm, it doesn't look bad. There's no metal shavings on it or anything like that. I can feel the. Yeah, that looks good. 
Wow, that's actually pretty clear. That's pretty good. So we're just gonna put this bolt back on. Put this bolt back on. Oops. Just like that. You don't want to over tighten this. You could strip it super easily. Same goes with oil pans, aluminum oil pans aren't the best. So that should do it. It's like that. And once you're done, obviously what you can do is get this spot cleaned up. Just like that, nice and clean. Make sure there's no more oil. Just like that. We got the oil drained. 1.8 liters. So, probably another simple grain. All right, we're going to start this thing up, let it warm up. Um, going to be it for this video um, i hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for the next video um, we'll be at the sand dunes um, so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time